Hey, what's going on guys? So, you know, in other videos I've talked about how it's actually kind of dangerous to be out here at night, but the problem is, is that there's some really cool nocturnal reptiles that are only out at night. So we are gonna risk it, we are gonna go out at night, and we are gonna see if we can find some of these really cool nocturnal reptiles that are out here. This is either going to be really stupid or really awesome. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. Rainbow Mealworms is not only a proud sponsor of this channel, they are the premier source for all your reptile food needs. They grow all of their quality insects in-house and I use them exclusively for all my insect eating reptiles. So place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net or click the link in the description below. When the sun goes down, Africa turns into a completely different place, especially in the cities like here in Lome, Togo. Street vendors swarm our car at every traffic jam. But the people here in West Africa are some of the friendliest people I've ever met. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> well, uh, we got a flat tire. Kind of uh, in the middle of this little town here. Not a not a decent place to get a flat tire in. Do we, Rod? Hey, you get down there if you like. I want nothing to do with that down there. The number one species I wanted to find was one of the two chameleon species that exist here. And two Westerners walking down a dark alley at night naturally drew some strange attention. So of course we stopped to ask them if they had seen chameleons in the area and they basically right, just said, so. they're everywhere. Um, this doesn't really look like chameleon habitat to me. <laughs> down that alleyway, yeah. I, I think we may have taken a wrong turn at Lome. <laughs> All right, this is what I think. I think we should take a breather from looking for chameleons and go get a beer. Oh, I can't say no. All right, so we're going to take a break from looking for chameleons because all of a sudden we've just found ourselves in the middle of a bustling metropolis. So the bars are over there. We're going to go get a beer and then we're going to continue our search for the chameleons around here. Okay, we got a nice gun in here. Oh, look at this. All right. I'm making the leap of death right here. All right, and then look at this. We gotta cross this busy road. This beer better be worth it. This may be my last video I ever do on Reptile Adventures. Cause we gotta go. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Your mother would be very angry with you if she saw you do that. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at this guy sitting right here. Holy, hey, it's natural habitat. So right here, look at this. Literally, on our way to go get beers, after we cross this busy highway, we have just found a female red-headed agama. Just sitting there sleeping. So red-headed agamas are diurnal. They're active during the day. They're everywhere here in West Africa. And I'm gonna see if we can find a male during the day to show you guys just how amazing the males look here, but we're just gonna let this girl go back to sleep. Come here. Oh, well, here, I don't want you to run. All right, you're gonna run. There we go. All right, she's gonna find a place to go back to sleep. We are gonna go get a beer. That was pretty cool. I know. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought? Holy crap, look at this. Hi, buddy. Look at this dude. Come on, buddy. So look at this, guys. This is a Senegal chameleon. This is one of the chameleon species that I wanted to find out here. And this is one of two chameleon species that's found here in this part of West Africa. The other is the graceful chameleon. And it's interesting because other places in Africa, especially Madagascar, has tons of species of chameleons. But here in West Africa, there's only two. This one, and again, the graceful chameleon. But this is just about an adult. They don't get very big, but these are, I think, the fourth most popular pet chameleon, if I remember what I read. But these guys aren't very long-lived at all. They only live to about five years, and females that lay a lot of eggs, they're never gonna make it to five years. But look at this, we just pulled them off the tree. 
and there's no aggression. These guys are so placid and so docile. These guys are just cool little chameleons. But these chameleons, they're insectivorous just like every other chameleon. And he's probably on this mango tree hunting all the bugs out here, you know. One of the things that I really was looking forward to doing here in Africa was going out at night and seeing a ton of really cool nocturnal species. But I'll tell you, it can be very dangerous at night here in Africa. And so a lot of the places that we wanted to go to, we simply can't because it's too dangerous for us to be out there. But we're in the back alley here just behind our hotel. So I think we're pretty safe back here. But we got word that if we just walked this back alley, we'd see a ton of these chameleons and all we could do was come up with a one. And let me tell you something, coming up with one counts. That is just a cool, cool chameleon. All right, buddy, go back to your tree. If you guys can see that though, look at that blue side to him. He's got, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but he's got a really kind of baby blue side to him but you can see how small he is in this tree. And I bet you we walked by 50 of them just to see this one. So I just put him back on the tree and he didn't turn into his stress colors. He's still vibrant green. So we're just gonna let him go back to hunting here on this tree. I love how they kind of walk that kind of staggered walk like that. I'm going very slow so you won't see me. What a cool chameleon, the Senegal chameleon here in West Africa. Such a cool dude. All right, good night, buddy. From Togo, we traveled to Benin. I really wanted to find house snakes while I was in West Africa, and so far, they eluded us in both Ghana and Togo. And along the way, we saw some very interesting and disturbing things. Nothing like filming an illegal garbage burning on the side of the road to scare the people doing it. Stop this! Alright, so we got yet another flat tire. These roads in Africa are hell on tires, but listen to all these frogs. Come on, it's crawling up your legs. Oh, look at them all. We got plenty of food. Well, good thing you're not made out of wood. Yep. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, hello, honey. Look at that guy right there. We're looking for frogs and we find this snake. It doesn't look mamba to me. Nah, it's a, um, um, Samophis. Oh, nicely done. Look what we got here. Big ones like this will give you a hurt. And... I think we're uh, freaking out our driver over there. <laughs> This is just cool. Look at the colors on him. He's got like orange stripes down his back. Man, this is a good looking snake. Look at that head pattern on him. He's got like this leopard pattern on his head. This is a really good looking snake. And look at those orange stripes down his back. Uh, he has a little bungdon right there. Something tried to take a bite out of him. But he's calmed down here and man, this is a really good looking snake. So we get this flat tire, we're out here looking for what frogs are calling, and we find this really awesome bonus. This is just really fortuitous that we happen to get a flat tire where we did. Man, you gotta love Africa. <laughs> so Ewan brought the snake up to show our driver here, and I don't think our driver likes him very much. Why does snake it? Why does snake it? <laughs> he's coming with us. He's a, he's, no, 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 he's no, no, no. a gift for you. In lieu of payment for your ride. <laughs> that is just too funny. We stopped for a flat tire out here. Driver is freaking out. We just brought that snake up to show him and he is completely freaking out. Should we let him back in the bushes? All right, buddy. Go back to Africa. And this is Africa. You know, some places are completely destroyed, but you get a flat tire on the side of the road and you find snakes. Man, we just can't get more awesome than that. But the tire is fixed and back on the road we go. All right, so we're walking through this neighborhood here and uh, this probably is not a good idea to do this at night. We're a couple of white boys in Africa. I've got a camera that looks like a gun, but 
house snakes are here and I really want to find one. And uh, there's a lot of unfinished houses here. They build, <clears throat> they start to build houses, run out of money, and then just leave those houses abandoned. And that is now the habitat of the house snake, hence the name house snake. So yeah, this might not be a good idea that we're here, but um, well, I guess there's one way to find out. I have no idea what that is or why it exists. Very, very bizarre. So we uh, came across this house. We've got these families permission to be back here. Oh, look at this already. <laughs> that didn't take long. Ouch, it bit me. That didn't take long at all. Look at this. This is a black phase of a house snake. Come here, quit biting me. Let me take a look at you. So these house snakes are extremely common here. They're like garter snakes anywhere in the United States. They're just kind of everywhere. And they hang out in people's yards like this, along walls, and they're nocturnal. So we could find a bunch of these. This one was really easy to find. We just walked right up and he was out right there. But man, I don't know why these aren't more popular. These should have exploded as the perfect pet snake. But it just seems like so many people aren't keeping these and that's such a shame. These are such awesome snakes, but this is definitely one of the species that I wanted to find here. And it's a black phase and that is really awesome. Or is this a stiletto snake? Is it, is it a stiletto snake? No, 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 no. It's, a, it's a house snake. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, back to filming this guy. I was thinking about doing a house snake in the wild video, but as you can see, it's going to be so difficult and dangerous for me to actually do that. I'm just really thrilled that we found this one. Man, that's awesome. Wow. All right, so you want to film him? Yeah, yeah. I'll just put him Do some there. photos right, with him. Sit. So, yeah, he was just... Oh, yeah, look at this. We've got plenty of rocks here. We've got this concrete slab. Oh, look at that. There's the hole. That's where he just emerged from. And he was probably sitting right here. Look at how nice he's sitting. That's exactly where he spends his day. And he probably just emerged as we came up here. That's a pretty epic shot right there. All right, I gotta take an Instagram of this guy. Man, what a cool, cool snake. Again, this is one of the species that I really wanted to find down here. It was just a nice little house snake. It's a black phase. Look at that belly. Nice cream belly. Man. These are the garter snakes of Africa. They really are. All right, buddy, we've harassed you enough. Go on back to Africa. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we're on the edge of this road right here. All the roads in Africa are all dirt and they're just falling apart. They're very hard to travel down. It takes a long, long time to get a very short distance here, but we're walking along this wall here. Hopefully, we're gonna see a house snake along this wall. We've got another audience. Bonjour, bonsoir. Bonjour, bonsoir. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Another house snake. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, this is a nice olive brown one. Look at this one. Look at that nice stripe down his side. The thing that I love about house snakes is just how variable they are. Look at that nice stripe on his head and that nice lateral stripe that he's got. Man, these are exceptionally common here in this part of Africa. And <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see it down there, but uh, we've got some people wondering what the hell is going on down here. But well, they can wonder, that's fine. But yeah, these guys are as common as garter snakes are in the United States. And it is just so awesome. I mean, literally, these guys are crawling all over this town. This is the second one we found in about 10 minutes. These are just really awesome, amazing snakes and they eat rodents. So we knew that one might be along this wall because literally there's the road, there's the wall. They have nowhere to go but to crawl along this wall until they reach the end over there. All right guys, so I think we've pressed our luck just about enough out here. We found some really cool stuff, two house snakes in 10 minutes. That was the goal. They literally are plentiful in these human habitations. They're everywhere, but right now we're gonna kinda not press our luck anymore. We're gonna get back to the hotel for the night. It really is dangerous being out here 
uh, especially when people have no idea what this camera is or what we're doing out here. I'm not worried about our personal safety. I'm actually more worried about scaring the hell out of people out here. So guys, as I've mentioned in other videos, the Ball Python movie is coming up really soon and all my Patreon supporters will get early access to the Ball Python movie. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter, that link is in the description below. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.